Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Heathkit SB201 here in for repair. So I'll take it apart and show the inside. If you like the video at the end, please hit the like button. I'll show share it with your buddies and hit subscribe. This coming week, I will be working on the 6 meter amp. I got a couple of these amps done, these other amps done this weekend. I have more here to do, but I have to get back on the 6 meter amp, so the other ones will have to wait a little bit. But, uh, hey, okay, I'll be right back with the inside of this amplifier. See you soon. Okay, I'm back with the SB201. I'm going to show the inside real quick. So, as you can see, the grid loading resistors here. One is all damaged, blown apart, so it had a tube short. This resistor's damaged, chokes damaged, all of that will have to be replaced. They'll change the mica caps, this one and the one over there. Rewind new parasitic suppressors. I always change the plate blocker from this old type to a newer type. I'm going to change the uh, plate rectifier assembly. I have a new Harbach board I'll show in a second. I'll change the meter lamp bulb. I'll put reverse connected diodes across the meter. The high voltage cable going from the plate choke to the rectifier assembly was disconnected. This resistor has some heating. I'll change that. Clean the relay contacts. I noticed on the cord, see so I look at everything. I noticed it's damaged a little bit right there. You can just barely see the conductor, the internal conductor, so the stranded wires, so that I will I'll see how long it is when I unzip tie it. I'll probably just cut it here and bring it in and reconnect it. So that's about it. I will uh I'll be back. I also have to one other thing actually. I have to change the the output SO239, which is a pain. So here. As you can see, there's no tension at all on this thing. Just, just like so. the directional coupler has to come out, and it's a real pain. So I'll have to change that, and I'll uh, I'll be back when it's all done. Oh, and here's the Harbach board. They, once again, these come as kits, so I have to assemble it and solder everything together. And uh, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, I just wanted to show something really quick. Um, so, I've shown this in the past, but to get this board out, what I do is I will, instead of having to disconnect all this wiring because it goes through a hole, I take my snips and I carefully, without cutting any of the wires underneath, I cut a channel right here and break this off. And then I cut down the length of the board and break it in two so I can easily get it out. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed SB201. Brand new Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, can't say enough of good stuff about them. Brand new plate blocking cap. Before the old one was on just the thread. It was like bottomed out on the thread. And the uh, standoff thing here, which is needed because the doorknob cap would end up hitting the connection over here on the load cap. That was also just bottomed out on the thread. So I put a nut on either side as a spacer and a couple internal tooth lock washers. Brand new Harbach filter cap board kit. Put diodes across the meter to protect it. If there's ever a short while well, it's on the plate current setting. So band switch is good. Brand new parasitic suppressors. We wound them with Allen Bradley Carmen Comp 2 watt resistors. Okay, so I will turn it over and show you the bottom. 
and then the back. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Replace this electrolytic, replace this resistor, replace that resistor. I ended up having to take the whole directional coupler assembly out so I could replace the output SO239. So it's all set. I cleaned the contacts on the TR relay. Also replaced this resistor. It was way out of tolerance. This one was severely overheated. That one was blown apart. Oil the fan. I put this in to hold the high voltage wire so it's not flopping around. Clean the multimeter switch with deoxygold. gold. I cut back the cord and then resoldered it in place. So it had damaged the insulation as I should before. Yeah, I will show the back. I'll be right back. Okay, I cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxygold. gold. Changed the cap here. It was damaged. I changed the two mica caps between the grid and ground. You have one here, one here. Change the two grid loading resistors. Change this resistor. It's blown apart on the side. I had to rewind a new choke. That was damaged. So that's installed. So this thing's good to go. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Website is amprepairguy.com. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Take care.